One way is we go to our iDoc, go to places, and there's our home. Or, if it's a default setting, of course, we go to home on our desktop. Or we can go to our iOS bar here, go to applications, and we see our iFiles. Okay, now we conveniently have documents, images, music, and videos already created for us, so help us or keep organized. Of course, we have our desktop, which shows our desktop information. Some people like to save their stuff on the desktop for temporary and what have you, that's fine. To the left, we have a folder a tree, if you will. Um, it comes in handy later. Here's actions. We can upload files, download files onto the computer that you're on, create folders, delete, copy, paste. All right, we're going to go into our documents. And it looks like I already have some up here. So I want to upload some more. Okay, on the upload section, we have simple, advanced, and web. We'll start with simple. You just hit browse. And comes up what's common. Um, now this is Linux that I'm using right now. Um, this all works the same, it just looks a little different and Windows and Mac it look different, but it all does the same thing. What it does is go to your your hard drive on the computer that you're on and then you can choose what files you want. So I'm going to choose an old resume that I have that I want to keep with me around. So we'll just do that. And if you want to add another one, you just hit an, add another file it comes up and you do the same thing if you decide that hey you didn't want that file now that you think about it you hit X it exit out don't have to worry about it real simple now let's hit upload you'll see in the upper right hand corner our little message box and if we close out there it is right there okay let's upload another one now we're going to go advanced. Now don't let the events, you know, intimidate you because it's not really complicated. It's just advanced because it has more things it can do. So we'll go to add files. Go to the folder that we want. Now now what this means here is that we can choose more than one file at one time and I have to go back and forth. So what we're going to do is hold down the control key and then select what you want. You know, that JPEG's fine with me. Uh, let's grab that one. Uh, let's grab an MP3. Well, we already did that document. Um, a gift here. Uh, yeah, we need an estimate. Let's grab these two PDFs. Okay, now I'm going to let go of the control key and we're going to hit OK right here. And you see it, it put all those that I highlighted in there at one time. Don't have to go back and forth or anything. Now, let's say I decided, you know, I, I don't really want that gift now that I think about it because, you know, maybe my quota is going high or whatever. We'll talk about that later. All right, so we're going to remove it. And then let's upload all those. And as they come through, you'll see a little thing in your upper right-hand corner saying, hey, you got finished. So when that's done, we X out. And look at that. All that's there. All right, now I want to show you how to upload from web. Now, this upload file is fine here on this action thing, which you can also right click and then it will show up as well. Doesn't really matter. Now, let's go to web. Now, there is reasons why you would do this. Some people think it's, you know, weird and don't understand it, but it's no big deal. Now, let's say you're at somebody's computer. <clears throat> somebody else's and you don't want to download any files to them or whatever you know or you might not have information or something like that but you can still do it in the web and you can do it directly onto your iOS or slash server so I pre-opened our navigator and I needed a iOS logo for a project so I went to Google typed in iOS logo hit images and here's what popped up so that's a 700 by 600 okay very good and I'm gonna right click and then we can copy image location <clears throat> alright I'm just gonna minimize that and what you do here <clears throat> right now what we can do is hit control V to paste it 
Yeah. And we just hit upload. File upload successfully. Hit X. There you go. Now you can do that um, with other things because uh, you can find PDFs, you can find uh, PowerPoint presentations, and other things on the web that you can just upload there. Um, documents, whatever. You can just upload it directly on the server so no matter where you go, friend's house or whatever, it's there. No problem. Alright, now that I was showing you this stuff and things, you know, I got to thinking about it and realized that I, I for some reason, I put all these images inside, you know, the wrong folder. I really want an image folder. Well, there's there's a few ways of doing that. Um, one way uh, is you just go ahead and click on it, hold down the right key button, just draw, drag and drop, just like you would in any old machine, basically. But sometimes it doesn't always get in the folder you want because either my mouse isn't quite right or what. So how I prefer to do it is to open up another document. I just come over here or the other home. There you go. And I'm going to open up images. And then you can just drag and drop right to it. See? Corrects it. Real easy. No fuss. No problems. And then sometimes, um, to help you, if you do end up dragging and dropping on these folders, I'll say nine times out of ten you'll get it. But if you're ever missing it, don't think that it went to Wild Blue Yonder. Just check some of the other fo folders and you'll find it. Now, another thing you can do. Well, I'll actually open up any of these things on this segment. But you can say, well, you know, I, I need to download this or I want to know how big this file is or what have you. You can right click on the file itself. And you can hit properties. And this will give you a little spill about it. Here's the size. Uh, the author was a demo, which uh, I think is here. And then where it's located at and everything. Uh, the date that you created it. So this is the day that I uploaded it. So you can know what day you uploaded it. Here's the name. That's another thing. You see, I uploaded this uh, one PDF from the web. Well, I don't like the name of that. That's just, you know, weird. So let me just come through here. And then you can type in whatever else it is. Uh, let's put PDF. There you go. And there you go. It renames it for us. No problems. And then another thing you can do is let's say that, uh, well, I want this here, but also I want a copy of it in another folder for convenience. You know, let's say that I'm always over in this folder and this folder, and it kind of pertains to the same thing. So we can then copy, and let's say it pertains to the same thing as you watching videos, and then you can just paste. Now you can copy and paste over on the action bar, or you can right click like I did. Sorry, went a little fast on that one. Now also, a lot of times on this particular server I don't have it enabled right now, but if you right click on some documents, you can, um, or I think spreadsheets will work as well, um, sometimes there's an option for download as PDF, and you can just download it, and it'll turn it into a PDF instead of doing the doc or what have you if you want to do that. And also there's another thing is download as zip, so that means it compresses it for you. So that way when you download it, you're not straining, you know, the hard drive space or what have you and you can just store or that's another good way to back up your files or what have you also now another good thing you see you know if you're online for instance you would see a lot more folders and other files through here and will help us organize it it's good to create folders real simple thing to do just hit the create folders here type in whatever name you want Let's just say I have a bunch of stuff that I kind of go through, want to keep, and go through later. So I type in temp. There you go. And then uh, we'll put some of this stuff in here. You just hold down the right button, drag it, and it pops right in there. And then here's my resume, and I have a resume folder. So it's already in there. So it was hitting error. So that brings back to a good point. Since it's already in there, we don't need it. We can just right click, hit delete, visit it from the server. Now, all the stuff that you delete goes into a trash bin, just like normal OS would. Let's just move this out of the way. And you'll see on your desktop, there's trash right here. 
you can just double click